This is Hess Collection, 19 block convey, 2010. And of course, this is from Mount Veter in uh, Napa Valley. Um, Hess has these incredible vineyards uh, up on Mount Veter. And this is a wine that they make as a blend of grapes from 19 different vineyard blocks in their state vineyards. Um, it's primarily cab, 68%, and they source uh, most of the cab from their vineyard, uh, their Veter Summit vineyard way up on top of the mountain, uh, about 2,000 feet. But then they're putting in um, Malbec, Syrah, Merlot, Petit Verdot, sourced from all these other vineyards. Um, you know, it's nice that uh, these are all their estate vineyards. They, they control it all. They know exactly what's growing and what's really showing well. So they can pull these really good lots and put together um, an exceptional blend, you know, something that's really going to be um, far better <laughs> than the uh, individual parts. They uh, aged the wine for 19 months, and this one was aged in 58% uh, new French oak. So you've got um, you know, majority of the oak, new oak. Obviously, it's going to impart some nice flavors. Uh, it's going to need to balance. Um, it's going to need intense fruit to balance that. And. Uh, in the end, what you have is something that has added complexity, layers of flavor, um, uh, a backbone, nice ageability, all the things you're looking for in a great Napa cab-based wine. <sighs> wow, that's a great nose. <laughs> I'm getting lots of black cherry on this nose, but I'm also getting toasty notes from that new oak. Mm, plums. Some nice little hints of chocolate in there, too. Mm. Wow. Let's try it. This wine has a nice lush character to it. Um, nicely balanced. Um, you know, it's it's sort of really sort of borders on being elegant and at the same time lush. It's, <laughs> it's really unique and good. Um, and that in that saying that, um, I guess what I'm saying is the tannins are quite soft. The fruit is quite forward, but there's a really nice balance to it. There's a good backbone of acidity that makes it lively. There's fruit flavors, cherry, plum, I'm getting chocolate. I get those little hints of sort of toast, smoke um, from the oak. Um, but, uh, you know, on the whole, it's just kind of juicy, mouth-watering. Really, really appealing. I, uh, I'm sure you can age this. Sure, you put it in your cellar and see some really nice development, but it's going to be hard to stay away from it. <laughs> Happy drinking.